So let's start with introduction to photography. When we hear the word photography, what comes to mind? The summary of photography is just simply this, that you're studying the light around you. That's all. So photography generally is a combination of two words. Photo meaning light and graphy meaning study. It has to do with the properties, behavior and how light travels. That is what we call photography. Let's define what a camera is. So what is a camera? Who can tell us what a, what a camera is? Camera is an instrument used to study light. Okay, used to study light, okay. Device used to capture images. A camera is a device used to capture... Lights. Okay, fine. Oh, is there anybody else? A camera is an electronic device that converts all incoming light rays into a digital format. Electronic slash digital format. Let's talk about camera anatomy. So when we say the word anatomy, you are generally saying uh, the various parts of a camera. So when you have a car and your car breaks down, you have to figure what is wrong with the car, right? You have to know if it's the radiator, if it's the tires and every of those things. So when you see a digital camera too, a digital camera has various parts. This is just a recap of everything we've done today so far. We started with uh, introduction to photography, we defined photography, photo, study of light, graphy, study, and then we moved on to camera anatomy. Camera anatomy actually uh, tells us the various parts of a camera, ranging from the white strap, the viewfinder, the grip, diopter, high core, power switch, tripod mount, SD port, liquid crystal display, I did mention that liquid crystal display, or otherwise called the LCD, can be divided into three, right? Articulating, fixed, or tilt. And we also talked about the bayonet release mount, the electro contact pins, and we talked about the battery compartment, right? So after that, we also did mention about camera. We said camera by itself is combined of two entities, a camera body and a lens. It is a combination of a camera body and a lens that makes a camera. And then we also talked about um, DSLRs. We said way back, old photographers used film cameras and they used film. But now in the modern era, we use what? Digital. So one of the most common type of camera now is a DSLR. They are DSLRs. DSLRs simply stands for what? Digital single lens reflexes. Reflex means your camera has a mirror. It is the mirror that shows you whatever you're seeing through the viewfinder. If that mirror breaks, you won't see anything through the viewfinder. So I think that's a recap of everything we did today.